one of the things that I do use, how I use the Dr. Boss, sometimes I send the MIDI out. Check this out. Now, now y'all hear it grooving now? That's how I be running it. And it's got a funky bass. So, man, there's a whole lot to be, uh, to learn up in this thing. A lot of times I put it into song mode and when you put it into song mode, you can take, you can take like uh, one pattern and then you can copy it to like, 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 like let's say it's on uh, pattern 200, then you can, uh, have it go to channel to pattern 201 then you take out the bass then maybe take out the keys so you can just have nothing but the drums here I'm gonna show you something right quick I, I did that because I sent out some of the uh, the sounds of the boss to my keyboard So that's how I do it. You know what I mean? Hey, let me tell y'all something right quick. If anybody want to know anything about this drum machine, this Dr. Boss number five, hey, I will try to give you some of what I know on it. I haven't had it for a long time, but there's some things that I do know about it. I've been studying the manual. But anyway, once again, man, hey, I'm out. And uh, you know what? I just want to say for the, those who be checking me out, a lot of times I don't know what people be wanting when they come by. I know that normally what I do is I just go ahead and put together a jam and go on about my business. But I know there is some people who they might want to learn how this equipment works. You know what I mean? And if you want to know how any of this works, hey, man, just uh, just holler at me. And besides that, I'm getting ready to start making videos describing everything about everything. For real. All right, I'm out.